27 year old Zach Perillo from Australia, from Malvern in the Melbourne suburbs in Victoria, and uh, a silver medalist at the national championships earlier this year. Nice start. Farm has a little flicker to it, but he's holding it well. Little adjustment in the handstand again, well performed. Nice tight position on his Yamawaki. Level shoulder line, fingers extended a fraction. This is nice gymnastics in his first ever FIG World Cup event. <laughs> Zach Perillo of Australia. Gotta be better than qualification. 13.65 is over half a mark better than qualification. His execution. Now we have a look at Nestor Abad, the second best in qualification. Rings bronze medalist at the Youth Olympic Games in 2010 in Singapore. Good planche. His Yamawaki had uh, a nice uh, tucked position, really got the knees into the body. He's had to raise the legs going into the Maltese a fraction. Lovely swingful Jonasson into a beautiful handstand. That's good gymnastics on the ring from Nestor Abad. Could well be a contending performance. Although Mokosheva has increased that to three tenths shy of Mokosheva's qualification score. Meanwhile, Nestor Abad is virtually the same as qualifying. He goes into the lead. But we now have the top qualifier, Vincent Turk. Gymnast with already four World Cup titles. It makes that move into the Maltese look effortless. It's beautiful. It's a difficult handstand with the arms outstretched to almost horizontal. Oh, that is so beautiful, the way he opens up from the pike position into the iron cross, just elegant. Rises up into planche so stylishly too. Excellent shoulder presentation. Flickers a fraction in the handstand. Certainly, that is going to be a decent number for Vincent Herc. Easy lead, 14.6, Vincent Herc. They might well have won this. 6.1 difficulty score as well. Very important. 